Assalamu alaikum, hope you all are fine. It's her lesson number one, cleanliness or taharat. First, we are going to discuss the meaning of cleanliness or taharat. Taharat is an Arabic word and its meaning is to purify. When we use taharat or cleanliness in Islam, it means women should be purified physically by performing ablution. Now we are going to discuss how Islam and cleanliness is related with each other. Islam guides us to live a complete social life and the demand of nature is that a human remains clean. Now we are going to look what are the teachings of Holy Quran on cleanliness? Allah loves the people who are clean. Second is, and purify your clothes and avoid pollution. Third is, only purified people can touch the Quran. Now we are going to look what are the ahadiths or sayings of Holy Prophet on cleanliness. He said that cleanliness is half of faith. And on second occasion, he said that, O oh Allah, make me among those who repent and remain clean. Now, we are going to discuss what are the benefits of cleanliness. First benefit is clean person remains active. Second is to remain clean is a command of Allah. Third is person becomes positive. And the fourth is it takes us close to Allah and away from Shaitan. Now we are going to discuss about the other benefits of cleanliness. To remain clean is the sunnah of Holy Prophet Its reward is paradise. Person always remains healthy and also away from diseases. This was our today's topic. Thank you.